All right, I'm here to give you a tutorial for how to use this Canon video camera that you'll be videoing the sermons on. Um, but first things first, let's pan over here to the stand. So you notice there's this thing goes down and you can adjust it, get it down to the bottom and then you kind of tighten it there. There are multiple functions of this. You can adjust the leg length just by opening and closing, just pulling these open and pulling, putting them shut, but I'm not gonna do that right now. There's a nice nifty handle there for you. And then there's the pan function when you're putting the camera there. And then if you turn this knob, if I can turn it, oh yeah, there. Now it was tight. Now you have your pitch the pitch thing and the pan and it maybe needs to be oiled a little bit or something but as soon as you've got the pitch just right like you need it then you turn it clockwise until it's tight and then it's very hard to move the pitch from there but you can still pan so you're wanting to follow the subject as he moves and you're only uh, videoing the sermon part so let's go bring that camera and I'll show you how it attaches here. So if we take our camera, you notice here there's a little switch that you can flip that you, let's see if I can do it one-handed here. You push it like that. If you push it all the way back, then it is enough space to set this little bottom here, which is down to one working nub. Uh, it's enough space to fit that in. So I'm just gonna set this right here. Since I'm doing it one-handed, I'm gonna push that open. Ah, it's, it fits down in there, and now it's locked in place. So the whole thing moves as one unit. All right, how do you use this? There are basically four buttons that you need to know. One, first and foremost, notice you're not gonna film anything with a lens cap uh, closed. So you have this little switch here you pull it down, chink, and that lens cap is open. All right, that's one button. And then you're gonna wanna open your viewfinder in order to turn on. Ah, did you hear that? That means it's gone on. Now you can change that. You can even give the subject their view of what they look like. They won't be able to see that. You use this for your advantage, not theirs. All right. Oh, there's a familiar view, midweek meditations. So anyway, uh, now you've got it on, you can see your screen look in that upper right hand corner, it says that you've got about 25 minutes worth of battery life. So before I show you the other functions, your screen should basically look like this all the time, except for the battery life function. So you're running low on batteries. Oh no, well guess what? We have that covered. Here's the little cord here. So you flip out your little switch and you'll plug it into your outlet. And the other side of it looks like so. So it's got a little notched uh, notch there. It fits right into this guy, which is hidden on the bottom there. You see that? See, it looks like that U. You have to match the U shape up and you just Put it in there and then you'll be good to go. But we won't worry about that right now. We've got enough battery life to show you this. This is your battery. So it can charge while you're using it. So if you open it up, here's your two main buttons. There's an on off button, obviously right there, and then your playback button. If you are recording, actually I should, I mistook it. There's five buttons. Here's the second button you need to know. This is your record button. I press that in, it made a little beep, and it shows the status that you're recording, that red dot always means record. So yeah, now you're recording, I press this in again, we're done, done recording. Say we wanna access what we just recorded. Well, that's what that playback button is for. So you press the playback button, the third button you'll need to know about. And you see that you've got options of all the different things. So we'll click on that, Again, touch that. You can hear me. Let's uh, stop that. So we just stopped that. So let's go back to recording function. Well, you press, press the playback button again. 
and now you're in recording mode. It will switch. There you go. So if you want to turn it off, then you obviously press the on off button, which is the fourth button that you will need to know. That's easy enough. And I'll show you that in just a moment, but we don't want to turn it off quite yet because the fifth button that you'll need to know, which is super important, is you want to the zoom button. Here's your it's already it starts with already wide out. So if you if you touch this and you pull this to your right, it will start to zoom in. So let's use Jesus as our subject. Let's pretend. Oh boy, this is really bad lighting. Okay, so there's Jesus as our subject. <laughs> Uh, poor subject to choose. Let's choose my family. So we're zooming in. Let's get in nice and tight there. Yeah, see, you notice that you can do it. It's very sensitive, so if you press it like that, but if you go all the way, boom, it's, it goes faster. Oh, let's, let's slow it down. There we go. And they're moving around, so we follow them. We try to be as gentle as possible. Anyway, so say we're done recording now and we want to access the memory card. Here's your fifth button or fourth button, whatever it was. On off. Turn it off. It says task in progress. Do not connect power source. Boom. We're done. Now you want to access that memory card. Easy peasy. You just flip this and then there's your memory card right now. There. You just push in. Click. You see how it comes out? You just pull out like that. There's your memory card, your SD card, and you can push it in the same way. Click. Flip that closed. Boom. You know everything you need to know about this camera now. Except one thing. This thing should never be taken out or put in while the video camera is on. Okay, it's only to be taken out when it is off. That's very important because you could destroy something, okay? So you've got this thing, by the way, I might as well tell you this. You bring it over to your ch the church's iMac. This is not the iMac, but the church's iMac has a very similar slot and you just put the in the slot here. Boop, and there it is. And you've got it on your computer. So if I went to my finder, I would see it down here, Canon, and then I would see all this, this stuff on it. It's uh, not that important. We'll show you how to access that in another tutorial. All right. I did want to make one final addendum to this, is that you want to, when filming the subject, you want to use the rule of thirds. You want to get in close and tight kind of like I am in the frame right now um, and notice like this this picture frame behind me is kind of like a one-third and then the, the the couch is another third so you can kind of judge where the subject is so their eyes should line up with like a third one-third or so you know and then you also have thirds this way so some, some things will actually help you out and put little lines on your f filming thing. But you just want to, you don't, you don't, there's never any need to film the lower half of the person. Just basically say, if they're wearing pants or not, I don't know, I should actually kind of wonder about that. So <laughs> obviously someone's gonna preach in pants. But when you're filming the subject, you're not worried about, um, the bottom half of them you're just worrying about the the top you know part from their belly or so upward and just keep their head all all their whole head in the frame maybe uh yeah anyway so hopefully that helps